In this video, I'm going to show you how to securely store sensitive user details in your app on mobile device. And we are going to use iOS Keychain for that. In my previous videos, I always use um, an S user defaults uh, to store user ID or uh, username. And it's because my tutorials are aimed at beginner uh, level developers. And Keychain is uh, a little bit more advanced topic, which is not uh, which is not very straightforward to uh, easily understand. So, um, but storing uh, user ID and storing user ID in, in uh, NS user defaults is not completely wrong, as long as you do not uh, store user ID and username together with a uh, user password, and it's all in uh, NS user defaults, that would be completely wrong. So uh, see um, the experienced uh, hacker with proper tools can um, they, they can find their way to uh, to read and as user defaults and if if they have access to your device and uh, mobile app uh, and uh, if uh, you if you absolutely need to store a uh, user uh, name and user password in your app then you'll need to use iOS keychain so let me show you one of the ways to use iOS keychain and uh, store uh, user sensitive data in your application and it all starts with the keychain service programming guide uh, if uh, you um, i mean it, it, it you better read it uh, try to understand but if you're just beginning with uh, mobile app development this can be very technical and um, not very straightforward so uh, looking for um, a good tutorials on the net I, I, I like the website by Ray uh, uh, Wonderlinge uh, and um, there was an article in 2011 uh, and it's called basic security in iOS 5 so this article uh, teaches you how to implement an mob a mobile application with uh, which uses um, iOS keychain and this article is based uh, it uses uh, it uses keychain wrapper uh, that uh, uh, that comes from um, uh, keychain services programming guide. Later, uh, I mean earlier this year, because this article was published in 2011, which is a very long time ago, and it's an Objective C. So later this year, there was another another uh, article, which was published February 3, 2015. And it's it's an extensive article which is based on um, this part one, but it is in Swift and it actually teaches you uh, the keychain, touch ID, and uh, one password. Uh, and uh, you can download uh, the source code uh, from this article. Uh, but I found it um, that um, I mean you can download the source code and the uh, um, the keychain wrapper. Um, but I did not find it very easy to understand I, again. Uh, so I um, I tried it. It works, uh, but I kept on looking for uh, a simpler example. And I found this open source project. It's called Swift Keychain Wrapper. So if you look for it on GitHub, it was um, uh, it, it is an open source, and I I think it's the simplest implementation of. Um, uh, keychain and literally for you to store uh, your data like user ID and keychain you really need to write only one line of code and then to read it you need to write another line of code and to remove it if you don't need it anymore another line of code extremely simple so uh, and it, this article uh, as an author of this article says uh, it is a rewrite rewrite of um, uh, this uh, rewrite of Objective C code published in uh, in this article 2011. Uh, but again, it all comes back to this uh, Keychain Services Programming Guide, uh, uh, which you can uh, read through and you can find a Keychain uh, wrapper uh, from Apple as well. So uh, to um, but I'm I'm a really big fan of open source and I always try to reuse code uh, which is allowed to be reused. Um, so uh, why not download this project and try this very simple integration and uh, if you download it I have already downloaded uh, to my uh, desktop so I'll go to desktop here it is if you open it there will be um, there'll be a folder uh, Swift keychain wrapper and that folder contains two files like three files but you need uh, actually only one keychain wrapper Swift for it to work 
uh, and uh, so let me just show you how it works um, let me open my Xcode I'll create a new application single view application and I'll call it my keychain example in Swift uh, next create okay so I'll go back to uh, this folder and I'll grab a keychain wrapper Swift file drag it and drop copy items if needed needs to be selected and I'll click on finish uh, so the file is here it's an open source uh, project the author is Jason Rundell uh, so if you use it in your code um, I think uh, you better keep um, the uh, copyright details uh, and if you look through this code you will find how to um, uh, store how to read data how to use um, access groups um, so let's quickly go to uh, like main storyboard I have only one uh, view controller created and this view controller uses uh, this view controller Swift file so I'll go there and uh, we'll simply reuse my view edit load so um, the the flow or the business logic might be or most of the time is this you uh, first of all, you send HTTP request to server when you, let's say, perform user login. So you send um, a user name and password to a server to perform a login. So I'll say send, send HTTP post to uh, server. Oops, server to perform login okay and um, um, server will then perform login and reply back to you with a JSON or XML response and you will need to read user ID or username from that uh, JSON uh, response and uh, I usually use user ID so I will say read uh, user ID from uh, JSON or XML um, response uh, okay, so now when you have user ID, you will need to uh, store it maybe in a, in a variable that will make sense. Let's say a user ID, and that will be a string value, string variable, and um, let's say that that is twelve, something like user ID twelve. So now you need to store this user ID in your keychain, and um, I will um, and to store it is extremely uh, simple with this project. So I'll say store a user ID into keychain. And uh, again, uh, storing is extremely simple. So you use a keychain wrapper and then there is a setter, set string, and you provide for the value a user ID and for the key, like it can be any key that will make sense uh, when you uh, retrieve it later. So that can be user ID. Uh, and basically uh, that's it. Uh, for storing uh, this um, set string, this setter um, returns back to you a boolean value. Um, so you can, for example, save. Um, you can store it into a variable is saved something like this, and that will be um, a boolean. And you can then check if uh, if it is saved, then everything is okay. Else, something went wrong. So, uh, and uh, reading, uh, then later in your project, you will need to uh, read user ID and include it into your HTTP request to a server. Maybe you're requesting for more uh, details about this user, like list of user songs, list of user albums or something. So you will need to pass on this user ID together with HTTP response. And uh, so you need to read it from um, Keychain. Uh, so I'll... Uh, add a note read user ID from iOS keychain uh, and the way you read it is also very simple you access a keychain wrapper and then you say string for key and then our key is user ID again it could be any key as long as it makes uh, sense uh, so I'm storing user ID so my key is user ID and I will store it uh, to a variable, so I will call it retrieved 
user ID and that will be of time of type string uh, and that's it and I will maybe uh, print it out and make it optional uh, and I'll print it out for us to see uh, if it works user ID equals and our retrieved user ID is here okay so I'll put a breakpoint um, here and I will run this example to see if it works okay so build is um, successful waiting for um, simulated to start okay um, we are here and um, our, our user ID is 12 is it saved true so we are retrieving I'll make uh, one step forward uh, retrieved value of user ID is 12 which is a correct value and I'll print it out prints out well uh, very very good it's working uh, so uh, and again uh, it's an, an open source project uh, you can select this keychain wrapper swift file and you can look through it uh, so removing an object for key uh, simply pass in the key name uh, and uh, very uh, very uh, simple um, swift file and uh, here we go uh, access groups if you need to access um, keychain uh, values from your other apps you can use access groups I can't really show you because access groups do not work in simulator you will need to test it on other I mean on your mobile device but um, it's uh, it's very simple to use like uh, you, you have a getter and you have a setter here so um, if you are for example in your view controller uh, to access your um, uh, access group you'll probably need to say uh, keychain wrapper dot access group and then um, that will return you a value of access group or if you need to set an access group you can set it like this um, but again I can't really show you because uh, it, it will not work on simulator and uh, this is it for this video I hope it was helpful and again the project that I used in this video is this Swift keychain wrapper you can find it on a uh, github and make uh, use of it as long as you keep, I believe, uh, copyrights.